Hi guys, Fink here. Um, this is episode 26 of Let's Learn Aegean Civil War II. Uh, where we left off last time, we had uh, executed the turn, uh, we had gone through the messages, and I believe we're ready to do the uh, ready to do the movement for early February 1862 turn. Um, last episode, last um, late, looks like late January, uh, McClellan had entered into Charlottesville here to uh, to try to take that, kind of against my better judgment, and uh, it, that proved to to be the case. Although if I had uh, if I had done so the turn prior, things probably would have turned out better. Additionally, we could have we could have possibly done something with uh, Hooker here, possibly putting him into Fredericksburg with a spoiling attack with the hope of possibly slowing down Johnston's movements, but there we go. Okay, so um, the army is not in bad shape um, losses-wise, but we do have uh, especially Meager, I believe that's pronounced Mar, if I recall correctly. His his division is uh, is quite low on uh, on cohesion. He took he took the brunt of it. It looks like uh, Mansfield's is as well, and Sumner. Um, Sumner is now a two-star general, and um, Mansfield here can be promoted. So that's something we're going to have to deal with as well. But right now we need to get these guys back to a position of safety. If uh, if they were to stay here and Johnston were to strike them again, I think things would be worse than than the initial exchange. Um, Culpepper does not have any supply here. And Manassas does have quite a bit of supply and also has the advantage of being a depot which enables us to uh, to recover some lost, lost force. So I think I'm going to take McClellan back through back through Culpeper to Manassas. Um, we might be able to get some rail ability. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to march to Culpeper. But once we reach there we'll be able to uh, to take the train to Manassas. Did take a big chunk of our what's the yeah, mm, I think we're not going to use that. That's a, that's a lot of our rail capacity. I think we'll just march them back. Um, I would rather not have uh, Johnston hit me, uh, hit him again. So we're going to give them the evade combat order and the retreat if engaged. Um, the evade combat order will decrease the chances that they'll actually um, be attacked, and the uh, the retreat if engaged. These. Uh, these uh, rules of engagement here control at what point the uh, the unit will try to retreat the, the force. So normally um, he doesn't try to retreat for for some time, and then as you as you bring these down, this one for instance, he will start to, he will want to retreat starting with the third round, and this will want to retreat even before combat begins. So we're going to try to evade combat with the Army of the Potomac, get them back to Manassas. Um, we are going to be moving through some pretty harsh weather here, so we'll take some some hits over that. But uh, but our little foray down to here uh, turned out to be unwise, uh, in in large part due to the combination of both McClellan's and and my um, shilly shallying there. Um, Barry here is increasing our military control. We do have a hundred percent military control here. Um, I don't know if there's value to, to increasing our military control to here to the extent that uh, hmm, 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 hmm. Um, I think that's enough let's put a we'll put a, a uh, bring some kind of a garrison here to Westmoreland Virginia and that should prevent our military control from uh, from le leeching away. Um, this is all good quality combat troops, with the possible exception of that volunteer brigade. So I'm not going to strip anything out of here. Uh, perhaps we'll send something down from Washington, um, or build, or perhaps even to build a uh, a militia unit. But I'm going to 
bring Barry back here. What's the weather? Harsh weather still. Mm. So we'll bring those back there. What do we got coming here? Did we bring anybody else? We have all of these leaders. YMCA. Um, YMCA is fixed. It cannot move. McDowell's command. <laughs> what is this unit? Shields. Oh, Shields wasn't supposed to be with that force. Not on purpose, anyway. We'll take Shields out of it and put it back to uh, to Washington to actually for Shields himself to be um, to be reassigned it in Washington. And then Palmer will continue on his way. Oop, this guy got snuck up in there too. It's not what we had intended. Okay. So these guys, let's put them on rail so they'll get up here. Um, whatever was going on in Strasbourg, I believe this force was up here and they've since retreated. Jackson is here. I thought Jackson was down here. I don't recall. We're going to harsh weather. What's weird? Now we took, I believe we hit, um, I believe we, we were hit by the uh, um, epidemics here. So so we're going to sit tight for for a little while and, and let that recover before we bring these guys down. This unit has arrived. This is just a, uh, a cavalry regiment. Possibly improve our ability to see what's going on here. Um, I think we're going to put these on a defensive posture, retreat if engaged, and take these guys down into Strasbourg to take a look here. Um, what else we got going on? Down here in Beaufort, we've now we've now captured Beaufort. Whoops, what I do with him? Put him here. Let's put him on a defensive posture. Maybe. Yeah, we've got 100% military control here. Um, <laughs> this is awfully tempting to take Jasper, South Carolina here. And maybe even start thinking about going down to, what is this? Is that Charleston? Savannah. That's Savannah, Georgia down there. So this looks like a fairly, fairly uh, substantial city here as far as their uh, war production goes along. This one less so. It's still a uh, it's still a a port, a harbor here. Um, taking this force here or this this uh, particular um, city, this town here, this none of these are um, well Savannah is and Charlotte or Charleston here is our strategic towns. I think what we'll do, we'll take Beaufort here, Buford. Let's um, let's take Buford and divide up his his. Uh, oh, we didn't bring any artillery with us. Uh, we're going to divide up his uh, his his division and then reform it, leaving Bartlett's brigade out. So we'll be able to leave Bartlett in Beaufort just as a. A, a garrison here so that we don't have to worry about things getting to and protect our rear and we're going to move into uh, into Jasper South Carolina and why don't we put him well let's let's leave him on just a, a, a regular attack we'll get here I would hate to to dive into here only to, to run head first into a uh, well I don't think that really even matters so we'll just do that and see if we can take, uh, what is this? The town is called Hardy's Station, so so we'll take that. And let's see, that will, the big thing that I reason wanted to do that is that will cut this rail line between Charleston and Savannah. So if they did have any, any troops here or anything they wanted to move through against us, they're going to have to take the longer road there. And each, each region you move on rail is one day, so... So potentially this would be one, two, three days, but now it'll be one, two, three, 
four, five, six. You know, long, it'll take them longer to get around to us. Should they, should they be planning something like that? The weather is clear down here, so we don't have to worry too much about that. Um, his cohesion is not awesome, but it's not, not it's not uh, something that I would consider to be a problem yet. So, so we will take these two regions here. That's my plan. Okay, now I'm just going to go through with the E keys and see what we got. This guy here, I'm just going to put him on permanent sentry status since I'm not doing anything with him each turn we go by him anyway. We do have a battery here in Wisconsin that we built in Dane County. Dane County, that's where another one of my Civil War ancestors lived. He uh, was a brother of my great great grandmother, one of my great great grandmothers, and he. Uh, he fought with Sherman's uh, army down at the Atlanta campaign, and he was wounded in the Battle of uh, Rosaka, Rakasa. I forget how that, which way it goes, and was evacuated back to, I believe, Louisville for uh, for treatment and died of disease in 1864. So, I'm just kind of finding all my Civil War ancestors is kind of one of my little things. There's uh, quite a few of them that I found, and. Uh, not a single one died in action. Uh, all that died were were from disease, except for one that was uh, was killed by Indians actually in 1864. Uh, okay, so we've moved this uh, we've moved this artillery unit down here. I don't even recall if that's where he had originally been intended. But that's where I'm moving him. Do we have any force here? Kearney's force, Union detachment. So we've already got some some artillery down here. I don't recall where that was initially headed. How are we looking here in this area? We're pretty well, pretty well, doing pretty good with uh, with our artillery here. Um, as you can see, each of these brigades costs three command points apiece. So the pair of them will cost six command points, but if we take Hurlbut here and uh, make him a division commander and include these two brigades in his division, that will drop the overall cost of, of those two brigades to four, so that will help help us out just a smidge. Not significant, not a, not a huge amount. Um, what do we got? Do we have enough? We've only got three detection on this region here. But it does not look like there is a significant force in Bowling Green. I think what I'm going to do, uh, this force here, this cavalry force, we're going to have them re repair this railroad and then come across into, into the Bowling Green region here, into Warren, Kentucky. We've got him on a, on a do not engage. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> We'll put him on evade combat as well, because we're just down here to, to scout the area out. We don't want to take any losses. <clears throat> we don't want to get into any combat here. <clears throat> and I think while we're doing that, what do we've got here in Munford? We have, what's W. Smith? Oh, that's some additional leaders we've decided to bring down here. We already, I believe, had eight I think we were already maxed out, but uh, we'll bring these guys along. What's this guy have? He's reckless, which is always a plus. Um, or, oh, we've gone through the turn. Do we? I don't recall if we have actually gone through a supply phase with our, um, after we've built our, our, uh, our depot here. I do believe weather affects uh, affects uh, supply as far as as far as the uh, transport and of supply. I think um, blizzard really uh, really harsh weather, not the harsh weather, but blizzard, which I believe is going to be one step above that. I think even prevents the use of the rails during during um, regions where that that weather is in effect. But we appear to be in in, in reason reasonably good shape. We're not at maximum supply. But we have three turns of supply here, so I think I'm going to take um, Thomas, uh, since we're kind of counting on, maybe we're going to get a bit of a jump on the uh, jump on the weather here. If I was to move these guys up here, what's our military control here? He is 100%, and it's 57% here. 
uh, bring these guys up to Barron, Kentucky, and why don't we even put these on an offensive posture on the off chance that something pops up in there. We may be, may be able to strike them. So this puts us right between the rivers here. And we'll see what's going on here, and we might uh, take these guys into Bowling Green if, uh, if it seems prudent to do so. What else do we have here? We do have this cavalry force that I've been messing with. Um, he costs three, um, three command points for um, for right now. So we're okay. We do have four. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make this guy a division, which is actually it will pop us up to a a four. Um, or so his his, his command. Uh, his command points get a little worse, but he's got the uh, he's got the the room for it. Um, for no particular reason, I'm just going to do it. Um, I think we're going to take this force down to Charleston again, just to kind of scout out what's going on down here. Put his uh, maybe not do quite as uh, oh, but well. We still we don't want these guys to fight. We want these. We want to preserve our cavalry for um, for scouting. We don't want to take losses in our cavalry. So we'll bring down here, put him on the retreat if engaged, so that we can just scope out what's going on down there. With uh, let's see, it looks like we got Sherman has popped up here. We'll put him in this unit, a gifted commander, poor spy network and he is a forager. This applies to all elements in the stack so that will gain this stack the ability to have some some foraging going on. We're sitting with uh, we don't have a hundred um, we don't we haven't achieved military control of this place yet so I think we're going to continue to stay here for now to build up the military control. Um, We're building 11, we're producing 11 supply. This uses 32. Um, <clears throat> we're going to have to, before we, we go too far with, with this force, before we start uh, charging forward, we are going to have to do something to ensure that our supplies are coming through here at, at, a, at a decent rate, sufficient to support our forces, which means we may have to put a depot in, uh, in Columbus or, or Paducah, perhaps. We'll have to see how that goes. We'll just kind of play it by ear. Um, Porter's fleet. No oh, Porter outranks foot. Third fleet. Bring this guy. He's been built. The lioness. These are our trans or ironclads that are still being constructed and you can you can um, gauge the 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 uh, how how far along they are by their red line as they're as they're getting their their uh, building those up so you can see these are the two we just built this one's got this one's been going for a while so what about our we need to sit in port here f through the uh, through the supply phase so that we can get some get these guys supplied up we're starting to get a bit of a force here we don't actually need to have both of these leaders here. What is? Oh, he's corrupt. Fifteen percent increase in supply consumption. Awesome. Um. Let's see. What else do we got going on here? We were gonna do something. Now the weather is still poor here, but we have moved. We've moved this division or uh, this. The army, the Western Command, forward. Uh, we do need to, to pay attention to what something that might be coming up through here. It's been known to happen. We do have a, a garrison there, but it's not large. Uh, in fact, I think I'm going to take the uh, the cavalry that we do have through here. The weather is clear. And I'm going to bring it down, possibly, to take a look-see into what is in Poplar Bluff down here. If there's uh, If there's any anything going on down here. Seems reasonable. And we do have this got 
pillage. So somebody was trying to get supply. Here we go. What do we have here? We have a, a infantry brigade that we can see here. And there's also two detachments of three units each. So he's got six units there. Seven units. So this could be a division in a you know a unit here could be a division for all we know. We really don't know. We've got to get some eyes on this. What do we've got here? Do we have cavalry in here? No, we took our cavalry out. Here they are. No, what did we do with our cavalry? I thought we had cavalry here. We had that cavalry brigade. Oh, he's down here. He's down here. Our other cavalry brigade here. Um, I think we're gonna... I think I've decided that this, this weather situation... Hmm. Yeah, still not. Still just taking an awful long time to get down there. But we will. Let's put him here on an offensive posture and have him start building with the military control in this region um, so that we'll be able to start bringing supply further up here, should be so desire. Okay. Out here, um, this unit really didn't take as much hits as I thought he might. So let's start thinking about what we're going to do here. I would like to combine these two units so that we can make one of them a division. What is it going to take to get here? 29 days. Oh, he's going to go around this side where it's uh, where it's clear. Now we are following the river here. We probably can do some... Uh, nope. Nope, that doesn't help us out right there. But we'll bring these guys around, meet up in Mound City, and... Uh, Early February. This would be about early March when this when that happens. These cavalry units here. Now they're in. I don't want to overload my supply here. I don't know how much we got. We don't have any supply here. Hmm. 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 Let's kind of let's just wait. Wait and kind of take a wait and see attitude. Ricketts. Let's move him down here as well. And we're just going to build up a bit down there. Out west, um, we've retreated to Santa Fe. We're completely empty in this uh, supply wagon now. We're, we're down to six in, the, in any case. We have some militia and Carson's Brigade here. We'll put Carson's Brigade back in there. Now we're using 16 a turn. And there is 18 in this area. How much are actually being used here. So we're producing 12 here. This is where we're trying to build this uh, this depot. So maybe that should maybe that depot will start pulling some of this stuff into here. So I think we'll just leave them in Santa Fe and await developments. We have this unit here, um, a militia in Albuquerque. We'll put them in Albuquerque. That's the mili that's the uh, garrison. Since uh, Baylor is moving up this way, I think the threat to our forts are maybe a little less, and to our cities here, maybe a little less than they otherwise would be. Um, let's combine these two forces. So we now have, oh, Canby is senior to Carlton here. So what's our, what's this detachment? That's our pack trains. We'll combine all of these. Our military control here is 96 which is nice. The supply is still not coming in here like I would I would prefer it to, but I don't think we've been sitting here through a supply phase yet. So there's plenty of supply up here that looks like it can be sent down. And that was pillaged. That, that probably doesn't help. Okay, so um, let's take Carlton and make him a division commander. What's our, our force? Yeah, see, we can we can take away that penalty here. We'll make Carlton a division commander and put all of this force in here. We are very artillery rich here with this unit compared to our others. We've got one, two, three, four batteries of artillery, three independent and one that's mixed in with one of these other brigades. And uh, one, two, three brigade regiments of cavalry. I'm looking over here. So we've got four batteries of artillery, three reg regiments of, of uh, cavalry, and four of infantry, including the 6th U.S. regulars, I believe. So, um, 
our supply situation is good with these guys. There's no reason not to continue down through here other than the fact that it's harsh weather. Um, being desert, it could be harsh weather permanently all the time. I don't know. So we'll take these down to um, western Arizona and we'll secure this area. I would not be surprised if Baylor uh, tries to come up here as well, in which case we will deal with him. Okay, so that's the that's just the main thing. So let's go through our... Um, we had some artillery we're building here in Chicago. Let's take those down here. Contrabands. Milroy's force. Um, we only have the one supply wagon. This were we going to add this in to somebody? We're not doing great as far as as far as uh, count or artillery here, but I don't think it's it's a big problem. We'll we'll, we'll combine those in there. Um, now I'd like to go take Charleston, but I'm a little hesitant right now given the weather. Well. Let's maybe get a jump on this guy and just, let's just, you know, it's 1862 now. We're, we're being a little more aggressive. Harsh weather, though. Mm. In the mountains. You know, I'm just, I'm not going to do that. That's, that's silly. I don't know if whatever losses we would take would be significant in game terms, but I just, I just don't want to do that. I don't think that's realistic. Um, these are our force pool for our leaders. This is stone sitting here. Now, um, once we take Strasbourg, if we look at the, uh, if we look at the, the supply or the terrain map here, um, once Bank takes Strasbourg here, um, this blocking force here is no longer going to be needed. So then we'll be able to, to either reassign him somewhere else or put him or put him somewhere else. Although since we're falling back to Manassas, he definitely needs to stay here. Okay. Um, next, Lion. I really want Lion to get going here, but, but again, you know, with the weather, it's just not, it's just not really, Western, oh, I'm not even on the Lion stack, I don't even know what I was on. weather turns, you know, if we get a blizzard here, we could, we could, we could be regretting that. But I think this force here is small enough. Maybe let's just take the risk. Um, he's a hothead. So let's, let's just give it a shot. He's, he's going to do that. His supply is not, what does he get? About four turns of supply here. We'll give that a shot. Um, here is our artillery unit that we captured while coming in that last battle. What does he got? He's got two, he's got two, he's got two. We'll just bring those back. We'll leave that artillery as, as a army level asset. We'll bring those guys back. Fremont. Fremont's just going to sit tight here. The uh, This division by of Lou Ayers here. Um, I think that's Lou Ayers, yeah, or Lou Wallace, Lou Ayers, jeez. That's a, uh, a movie star, if you've ever seen the old uh, All Quiet on the Western Front from the 30s, that's him, so, yeah. Um, so that's Swamp. Going into the Swamp during harsh weather is probably not optimal, so we are going to leave him here. We do need to build up a base of supply before we, before we get to get out of here, so I think he will also just sit tight um, Grant will sit tight, and we'll uh, we'll see what comes of it. Grant is going to sit here. Sherman is a seniority eight. This guy is a seniority sixty-five. Why don't we send Sherman over here to Wallace? So Wallace will be the division commander, and that will allow Sherman to be a, a force commander there, since his seniority is such that that would seem appropriate. 
Next we have Carson sitting here. Um, we're just going to sit tight here, see if we can recover morale. I don't think we took any hits, but or not morale, but recover some supply here. So um, I think we're just going to sit tight and see if we can recover some supply here. Let me take a look at what it would mean to put him as a divisional commander. Yeah, I'm not. I just don't like to have independent divisions without a force commander. So we'll leave him here. Uh, this is our um, garrison for Beaufort. These cavalry units. Let's take these. Let's just be crazy. It's it's a crazy turn. We're going nuts here. And we're gonna we're gonna bring these guys out to kind of get some eyes on uh, on Fort Scott here and see what's going on. We do have four detection here. But we'll do that. Um, actually, let's not do that. That's just gonna burn up their supply. So um, by the time the weather gets better and we can do something with them, they'll need to be heading back to get supply. So let's not do that. That's silly. Asbeth is just sitting tight. What did we do with him here? Asbeth. Asbeth is just going to sit here. Um, wait, we're moving. Did we decide to move him? Oh, we're moving him down. So we're going to combine these guys up. So, so we'll do that. Maybe we'll take this uh, this Kansas cavalry unit and bring him down here to get a, get a better handle on what's going on. I think we're doing pretty good now, but we'll get that up to a five and see what's going on. Or maybe, maybe that's the wrong way, because we do already have a good idea of what's there. What if we took these to Fort Smith with our retreat, if engaged, and, and get an idea of what's going on in there? Perhaps we'll do that. Okay. Excuse me, Grant, Milroy, Cavalry, Hooker. Hooker, hooker, hooker. Now, that's a thought. That is a thought. Do we want to try for a cross? Is this a strategic town? It is not a strategic town. But it has a depot. It has a depot here. And uh, it's a it's a good sized town. It's three in Fredericksburg. What do we got here? We have a Fredericksburg militia unit. Now, since we are in the same region as... Johnston here. I doubt he's going to immediately railroad his way back to Fredericksburg. What if we sent Hooker giving up our four entrenchments to do so? What if we sent him across the river here and maybe put him on, on a less of a, whoops, on an attack, a less sustained attack on the off chance that, that uh, Somebody gets back in here. We don't want to. We don't want to push it too hard. Is that a th is that a something we might do? And on the same note, you know, here while we're thinking about this, what if, what if we did a similar action with uh, with Barry here? What if we just brought him? What if we just brought him across here, and that gives us a couple divisions threatening Richmond right here. Possibly bringing the uh, bringing our line up to this river here, opening this this other little peninsula up for being occupied. He doesn't have a a uh, supply wagon supply train with him, so that is a a risk. Certainly, I think I've gone past I've gone past half an hour, so I probably ought to pick up the pace a bit here. We'll look at our naval forces here. These guys are going to stay and become, uh, get them resupplied. Same with the transports that just sit there. The monitor has arrived here. Um, what are we going to do with the monitor? Well, at the very least, we can, we can, uh, let's put the monitor in with the second fleet. Or if I did that, I don't know if I did that. Let's put all of this into second fleet. And then take Warden and put him in charge of the fourth fleet. So now each of these fleets has a leader in them. We do have, we're both sitting out in Hampton Roads currently. Supply looks decent, cohesion looks decent. I think we need to, to be careful if we decide to move this force along the coast. I think that these uh, 
these ironclads are vulnerable to uh, to bad weather when they're offshore. I mean, that's how that's how the monitor was actually lost. But we'll do that. We'll do that. We've got the transports there. This situation looks good. Our supply is is good. And what we're gonna my thought with this with this transport when their supply gets down. Um, he's currently got 26 supply in this uh, in this in this force and and quite a bit of ammo. As it goes down, we'll just swap these transports out back and forth with some other with some other unit, and that's kind of my thought on what they're, what we'll do with those. Now this guy here, this is what I was thinking about maybe adding more force to, so that we can possibly deal with. We've got Raphael Sims here and quite a bit of ships, so why don't we go back to actually go back to here? Let's take a look at our various units here. Now what do we want to look at in terms of in terms of uh, being a good um, a good force to to, uh, to to intercept those units. I think we want to look at our patrol value and our detect C value. So let's take a look between some of these different units. That has a patrol value of 8, the, uh, the frigates, and a detect of 4, the steam frigates have a 9 and the scouting squadrons are a 6. So that would indicate that possibly these uh, these steam frigates would be what we would possibly want to use. How about this armored frigate here? Is that what this is? An armored frigate, a heavy warship. And I think that would be wasted out in the uh, out in the shipping lane. So let's take one of these, stick him over in Dahlgren's here. And then let's just grab two more of these. We'll take the Niagara and the Colorado. Just these two. Uh, we did have a bunch of other ships, but we seem to have got them all smacked up due to somebody having made a very poor choice a little while ago. Um, so let's take this, two more steam frigates, and we will combine them with uh, with this force here and see if that um, maybe build up a little more force here in taking out these uh, these units in the shipping wings. Now I don't know if if their um, chartered shipping I thought we combined those. We'll combine those. I don't know if just having these units here cuts into our um, cuts into our our, uh, our our merchant shipping what they're delivering each turn, or if they actually have to attack us and, and, and take out ships for that to, to do something. But we'll just we'll, we'll try that and see what happens. Palmer, the Brooklyn and the St. Louis, um, our supplies going down a bit. The Brooklyn is at half, uh, it's at half cohesion, so let's get these guys back into Fort Pickens. Our blockade here, I don't like how we're losing, uh, how we're losing cohesion off these guys. That's got me a little worried. Um, we're up to 30% here. Is it? Is it in both places? That's at 30%. And that's at 30%. Okay. Our Erie Force. Let me just put those on permanent sentry because there's nothing we can do with those. Farragut's. Okay, now this is the unit here. We want to get these built back up. If I was looking here at this unit. This ability applies to all elements of the unit that this element is in. So how do we get him in an element? The only element that he can be in is his own element or put him in a or put him in a, a division. He's always going to be just in his element. I think if we grabbed him and stuck him in the Atlantic fleet itself, I believe, I believe that just makes him a, a a passenger. So I don't think that's what we want to do. Put him back in the garrison here. So I'm not sure, just from reading this, if that's gonna if that's gonna increase the chances of us getting this guy built up or not. So I'm gonna set them on a passive. And we'll let these build back up. Um, this squadron is almost up to full strength. He's got one left to go, so 
let's uh, keep going here. Here's this force. We'll leave there, and we're done, and we're over time. So I'm going to stop right here. Um, next episode, we'll do the uh, do our production and our regional decisions, and then we will execute the turn. See you next time.